Alright boys, so here we are in 2019 on Modern Warfare Remastered now. I did play the crap out of this game when it was out. Um, I didn't play it probably as much as Infinite Warfare because of the competitive aspect, but I still played a ton of pubs, got a ton of the new weapons, all that kind of stuff, played all the DLCs for it. Um, but I do have a new account, and I've been playing uh, Black Ops 4 on this new account, and I was like, you know what? Modern Warfare is free, I can download it now on PlayStation for the month. Um, and keep it forever. So I thought, why not do a Road to Max Rank series for this game? I don't really think too many people are doing it, and for a lot of you that haven't played it before, uh, we can kind of go through this journey together and we can sort of see uh, what weapons we like as we go up and that kind of stuff. Because to be honest, I didn't try too many of the weapons. I just sort of ran around and uh, just played with the M16. I mostly sniped in pubs, to be honest, and used the Deagle. So I can try out some new weapons and that kind of stuff. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this down below, but let's just hop right into it. We're just going to play standard TDM for this first game. And plus, we can play around with a bunch of the different game modes as well, because uh, that was something I didn't get to uh, really play. I mostly just played TDM. I, mean, I didn't play like public matches and destroy and that kind of stuff. Um, but for the first match, we got wet works off the rip. And look at all these low ranks, man. That is absolutely wild. That's mind blowing, to be honest, how many people are here. And I can't wait until they actually release uh, the sales numbers for this. Um, like with Black Ops 3, we saw like 55 million people played it, which was wild for how old the game was. So I'm really interested to see how many people play this, especially considering it's uh, Modern Warfare. Um, and a lot of people are really interested in that. Um, so we're, I'm actually going to use the use the mp5 uh, this is more of a close quarters map i know there's some long range line, lines of sight but uh you can definitely lurk around closer a lot more and i don't i think i'll probably cut this video up um to get some highlights or go past the slow parts but um if you guys want to just see uh the whole uh raw parts of these videos just let me know and now uh, we're throwing some classic just kobe nades off the rip <laughs> oh i actually i really like this game for pubs as far as my sensitivity, oh gosh, this the recoil on this game hit. <laughs> I can sure tell you it's not the predictive recoil of Black Ops 4. There's a lot of random recoil, a lot of random bounces on this game, but I do like it. And I because of how fast you kill too, I definitely think you could play on a higher sensitivity. What? Oh my gosh, I just bought it on that kid for a little bit. I had a use to this too. I barely played it. But yeah, I, I play like, I think I play 6 8 on this game. Um, which 8 being the higher horizontal sense um, to turn around. But the vertical sense, um, you don't really need, to, it's not like a jetpack game. You don't really need to look up and down too much. So uh, I definitely keep that lower a bit so I can control the recoil. And I'm not really using my C4s too well but to be honest i was never really much of a c4 fan on this game um, i just found them a little bit clunky oh guys peeking on the right i think they even eventually added hardpoint onto this game too I, th I think they did so we can try that out too Ooh, got him that guy's pushing up on my teammate guys off to the right Ooh, give me that. No, you got me, bro. That's a nice little feed, though, huh? Yeah, this map sounds very, like, stalemate-y, if you know what I mean. I kind of wish I had a sniper class for this because this definitely is good for snipers. Um, I right, killed by a grenade launcher there. Grenade launchers in this game are not nearly as bad as MW2. And um, I think this almost confirms that we're getting Modern Warfare 4 next year. Um, I'm definitely going to release, like, a full YouTube video on it, but I really don't think, dude, it kills so fast, bro, with stopping power, it kills so fast, i get back to the point, I really don't think, um, I don't think we're gonna get Modern Warfare 2 Remastered Multiplayer, and I kinda get it, I don't really think it makes sense business-wise either to do it, so I understand the decision quite well, um, I just think that it would really split the fan base, like we saw with this game, um, it wasn't as bad because it was Infinite Warfare and um, this game, obviously, and MWR. And Infinite Warfare is way different than this game. So, like, it was really just a matter of personal preference at that point uh, for the styles of games. But if this, if, like, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, which is arguably even more wanted, or not even really arguably, definitely more wanted than this game, um, I think that... 
it might even overshadow MW4. And it might be more popular than MW4. Like this game, even despite how much hated Infinite Warfare was, people more people still played and bought Infinite Warfare than this game. Um, so I think that if Modern Warfare 2 Remastered were to come out alongside Modern Warfare 4, I think it would definitely take away from the fan base. And if they just remaster a few classic MW2 maps in Modern Warfare 4, I think it would achieve a similar effect, to be honest. I don't think... I'd be honestly just as happy. Because I really don't want to see the fan base split. Okay, I'm finally getting into the spawn a little bit. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. I'm just going for the spawn trap. Oh my god. I am in a very interesting position right now. Holy spawn trap. I got a helicopter. Let's go. I should have called it my airstrike. Darn it, bro. We're rank two, though. We're just popping off in their spawn. See, now this is when this map gets interesting. When you can run around the spawn and do stuff like that. That guy's outer. There's literally guys all over me right now. Oh, <gasps> what? <laughs> I just got fried, dude. <laughs> M16 is an absolute joke. I wish you could have got the airstrike. And I'll definitely be keeping stats and showing you guys my stats um, after all this. Even if this doesn't, if the views on, the, on this aren't too good, I'll probably still continue it. Uh, I, I enjoy playing this game. And uh, to be honest, my channel's a little stale at this point anyway, so. <laughs> Who really cares, dog? There isn't too much to post for me that I'm interested in posting. Alright, game over. How do we do? I'll probably include like two games per episode. Something like that. We were 19 and 11. Not bad for our first game. Our teammate went a bit more off, and I definitely think if we could have uh, used our streaks, that would have been even better. Um, but yeah, I don't think we have creative class unlocked, so there isn't really too much to go over. So I'll probably just catch you guys in the next match. Alright, we're on this next game. I'm using the M16, because uh, definitely more of a long range map. I mean, you can play it to be close quarters, but. Damn, dude. That's actually... Who uses... That was, an, that was an M4. Okay, I thought that was an M16. I'm like, who uses a freaking Juggernaut M16? <laughs> like that, like that, that's freaking weird. I hear this guy in here. Oh, sheesh, bruh. I'm getting horked on by that kid. Got, got him. Got him. Yeah, the guns just feel so heavy, man. Like, in a good way, they just feel like... Oh my god. That's actually wild. That <laughs> I can kill like that. <laughs> With an AR, bro. Give me that. Whatever, dude. He naded this. Come on. Never even went off. Oh, they're gonna push me. I got this freaking MP5 though. Got him. I gotta. I gotta use this airstrike. It's next life. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the, get some kills on this guy mid. Yep. Popped an airstrike too. Let's call this in over here. And what I love is your kill streak stack on this game. So if I get just one kill with this airstrike, I will get my chopper. And we got a heli. Let's go. Let's call that in. Now where are you? I think they're still, they're still, they gotta still be spawning back, uh, back on this side of the map, definitely. All right, freaking beaming them, dude. No, <laughs> I was on a merciless, bro. They freaking got me. Let's see, did I unlock it? I unlocked the sniper class, so we'll do some sniping. Um, after this game. Oh my gosh, we're beaming them right now. Chopper's going in, too. To be honest, I kind of like um, how my kill streaks don't get hit markers. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just like it more for some reason. 
I just think it kind of interferes less with your gameplay. Okay, these guys are caught up in their spawn. I, I definitely got a little too aggressive there. Let's see, I got this sniper out now, M40. Got a... Got you. No, Juggernaut will be the death of me, bro. It's the cipher. Oh, uh, that's literally that literally gives people nightmares, bro. Snipers. And yeah, I'm not I'm not the best quick scoper, man. I'm definitely more of a hard scoper in this game. Um, on games like Infinite Warfare, I got to get a quick scoping. Um, but on this game, I don't know. With the Barrett, I can definitely quick scope. But for some reason, with this uh, M40, I just never got I never got that sort of feel for the quick scope. A uh, quick scope is definitely more of a f feel kind of thing. You really gotta know exactly when to pull the trigger, because um, it, it is precise. Like there's there's a spot where if you pull it, your shot's gonna miss by a lot, and uh, if you pull it, it's gonna be perfectly on. I just never exactly nailed that down. But maybe for playing this series and I'm sniping a little more, I can uh, I can get there. Let's nade these guys. Let's go. Got another airstrike. They're spawning on the other side now. I'm gonna airstrike that. Let me see MP5 as a secondary. Got the airstrike. Oh. Need one kill for this chopper. Wall bang, let's go. <laughs> no, he, he got me, man. We'll call him this chopper, though. Get some more kills. Oh god. I'm so bad at this pistol dog. Dude, that. Oh man! I hate the fact that that guy's using Juggernaut, bro. It's really getting on my nerves. There's a guy right here. Gotta get these guys on the right side. That was a terrible shot. And I hit Margaret the drug guy. Got him. Nope, terrible shot. Let's see. Oh, he's trying to shoot up my... Got him. Oh, that nades at me. We only got two more kills, boys. One more kill. Can I hit a no-scope? Ah, uh, the game's over. I think that, that, was, that game is definitely better, man. I really... I love Bog, bro. I, I played this map so much. I don't know, just between 1v1s on it, I, I really know the layout a lot more. And I always vote for it in public matches, so. Oh my gosh, that was fun, man. Start with the M16, we all have the side. 35 and 7, boys. Let's go. How about that for a second game on, man? <laughs> That's definitely a stat pattern. Oh man, that'll probably call that for the first episode, boys. We may have just unlocked creative class. I have to check what rank we actually finished as. Oh, we did. So I think that is creative class, yep. Um, so by the next episode, boys, I will have started making some classes. Uh, we'll definitely have a more interesting game, uh, especially with creative classes. But tell me what you guys thought about that down below. Uh, probably every 10 levels, I'll go over my stats, so you guys can sort of get a feel for how I'm doing. Uh, but again, boys, don't forget to drop a like down below, subscribe if you are new here, and tell me what you guys think about this series. That's what this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.